All right, we are geeking out here at Lowell Park in Waukesha, and we're talking, of course, after the snow about sledding conditions. Good conditions, that's going to be tomorrow. Temperatures close to 29 degrees. Flaky snow is usually the best, and you want to have a steeper hill like Lowell Park, and you want to have had a few people have gone down the hill already. Typically, that first sled after a very fluffy snow, not the best. So sledding conditions may not have been the best today. Tomorrow, they will be better. If you're wondering about what type of sled to choose to go fast, well, if you get a saucer, have a smaller saucer because it's going to be faster as you put, uh, if you get a smaller one, you're putting the same amount of weight on a smaller surface area. Then we get to the toboggan, and that's going to be a little bit faster because you're putting increased pressure on the sled to go faster. It kind of melts that snow underneath, and the fastest one are the sleds with the metal runners, and that is where I met my friend Connor here. Metal runners, well, they're very much like ice skates, and that's where I found you today. So how old are you, Connor? Oh, five. Oh, some heavy skates here. So tell me a little bit, why do you think these skates go so fast? They, they're really fast because they have blades, and uh, if you skate a lot, it, they're kind of melting it, and then they get you a little faster, and because they're blades, and they're fast blades. He is so smart. These blades, yes, they melt the snow or the ice underneath, and they make it go a little bit faster, so they work on the ice as well as on the snow. And Connor's going to be a reporter someday, aren't you? Maybe. Yes. Or a soccer star. Who knows? <laughs> All right, back to I you. I think I'm going to be both. Both, both. There we go. A soccer star and a reporter.